spring can be kind of fickle sometimes. We get beautiful, gorgeous 60, 70 degree weather and then the next day it drops down below freezing. And so we've always got to worry about protecting our plants. Here at Anderson Seed we've always had a saying and it goes, plant early and plant often. And in many cases that happens when our plants are doing wonderfully because the weather's nice and then we get that late frost towards the middle or latter part of May and we can lose all of our plants. So we've got some things to try and help you protect some of your more tender and uh, more desirable plants so that they don't get damaged during uh, one of those those late frosts. So here we've got a beautiful tomato plant. It's a sweet baby girl, one of my all-time favorite tomatoes. And there's a lot of different things we can do to protect them and I'll kind of show you how they, how they kind of fit in. A hot cap, a standard hot cap like this, wax paper hot cap, uh, you can put right over the top of your plants. Of course, you want that to be large enough to not touch your plants. Once we put this in the ground, it would probably still fit in there, all right. But a hot cap like this will only give your plants about two degrees of added protection. So instead of freezing at 32, it will probably freeze at about 30 and definitely will freeze at 29. So two degrees of added protection for a standard hot cap, or if you throw a bucket over the top of it, works the same way. So just a couple degrees of added protection. If you use a product like what's called a plant protector, they come in a couple different sizes. The nice thing about the plant protectors is they come apart and you can you can you can just lay them flat and so they store very easily because it'll it'll come completely apart and it'll lay flat and uh, you can you can just stack them on top of each other on top of the shelf so they don't take up a whole lot of space so the plant protectors are great harder plastic definitely will generate and hold a lot more heat than a, a, a paper hot cap will and of course you can put them down over your plants nice thing about them is that they will close up so if you want to close them up you can just seal the tops up when it starts to get cold if it looks like it's going to freeze the next day and you want to generate some extra heat in there you close the top up and uh, holds that extra heat in there to protect your plants plant through the nighttime and especially in the morning when it gets really cold. But if it turns really hot and you don't want your plant burning up inside your hot cap, you can actually open them up and let them vent out and uh, allow the plants to breathe and get a little bit more air access. The plant protectors will give you about four to six degrees of protection. So instead of freezing at 32, it'll freeze at maybe 28, maybe down to 26 degrees is what kind of uh, protection this will give you. And it really helps increase your growth on your plants. So by using a plant protector like this, it'll make your plants grow a lot faster. You'll be surprised how quickly they'll be growing out of the top of your plant protectors. They do make a larger one also. Probably one of my all-time favorite products is one that's called um, Freeze Proof. Now the Freeze Proof is a liquid that you'd actually spray on your plants. Now the Freeze Proof lowers the freezing temperature of the plant by, by penetrating into the leaf and uh, making the water inside the plant less likely to freeze. So it's actually like antifreeze for your plants. You can take it and you can treat your plants. So we would spray our plant, you know, bottom undersides and top sides and all the parts of the plant that you spray will be protected. If your plant continues to grow, then you'll have to retreat those areas that haven't been treated because the freeze proof actually lasts about a month. So you can spray your plants a month in advance of having frost and it will keep your plants from being damaged and it will, uh, it will stop frost from, from killing your plants and it will last about a month. So you'd have to retreat those new areas. The freeze proof will actually lower the freezing temperature of your plants by four to eight degrees. So with a, a plant that's got a little bit of uh, hardiness built into it already, it's going to keep it from freezing down to about 25, 24 degrees. A real tender plant like a tomato probably is going to give you about four or five degrees, kind of like the plant protector. But the nice thing about the freeze proof is you can cover a lot of area with it and you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, moving the protection around and it does come concentrate as well so we've got a concentrate you can mix up in your own sprayer or a trigger sprayer that you can use to spray just right on your plants gives you about four to eight degrees of added protection and it really works we've had very very good results with the freeze proof the other options you've got would be to go to a, a wall of water or an aquadome and the walls of water and you're probably familiar with those the green plastic tubes that hold water inside there and uh, you, you set them up around your plants fill those tubes full of water and then close the tops up and the wall of water will actually get you down to about 
22, maybe 20 degrees. Uh, the, the wall of water, I've actually seen the water inside of them freeze solid, but still keep the plant protected. So they do a really good job at protecting the plants, even if it gets cold enough to freeze the water inside. So aquadomes work just like the walls of water, but they've got twin wall harder plastic, and you pour the water in to the holes, you can fill up the, the aquadome, and then you put it right over the top of your plants. Now the tops are open, but the water inside the aquadome will retain the heat so well that this is probably the best option that you've got for, for protecting your plants. Not only will it protect your plants down to about 20 degrees, but it also makes them grow like crazy. We will actually use our, our aquadomes uh, to get the tomatoes and peppers to grow right out the top of the, of the, the protector, and once they start growing out the top, we'll usually move those over to another plant and and get those growing as well too. So we use it as a as a growth enhancer as well as a frost protector. So there's a lot of really good options that you've got to use to try and protect your plants from damage in the springtime. Between the freeze proof and some of the different uh, covers that we can put on the plants, we can really lower their freezing temperature, plant a little bit earlier, increase how quickly they're gonna produce and have a lot of fun planting out in the garden early. Thank you.